Hello there, I'm Chris, and today, my friend, you are looking at me in a frontal plane. In other words, you're looking straight at me, alright? So to my right, my uh, assistant Susie was happy enough to uh, put this pole and a big rock in the ground, which took her hours to do, and may have taken hours off of her life, who knows. But uh, no worries, she's an intern, didn't cost me a dime. So we're talking uh, joint motion today. And it's simple to understand, and uh, hopefully after this video, you won't feel dumb as a rock. Ha ha ha, just kidding. That's my uh, joke of the day. Alright, first thing I want to talk about is uh, line of pull. Line of pull is the uh, direction of force is pulling something. Um, in your body, muscles are doing the pulling, okay? In most cases, they pull the muscle insertions towards the muscle origins. In our body, we have joints or uh, axes, if you will. There are many different types, but honestly, I'm not going to go over them right now. It will take all freaking day. All right. So we use uh, torque to make our bones move around these uh, joints or uh, axes, if you will. Uh, torque, again, is using a force to produce rotation around an axis. A line of pull is where we generate the torque in our body. And uh, the distance between that line of pull and the axis is known as a uh, torque arm or a moment arm. <clears throat> so, uh, so if I get this rope here and I'm pulling it, this is going to be my line of pull. In this case, I'm basically acting like the muscle, okay? And the base of this pole is acting as the axis where the pole's in the ground. Uh, that's the thing I'm trying to move, so that's going to be my axis, okay? So the imaginary uh, line, which we call moment arm or torque arm, would be uh, right here. Now again, just to kind of let you know, the distance between the line of pull and the axis is known as the moment arm or torque arm, whichever you want to call it. All right, so uh, the greater the moment arm, the more uh, angular force is going to be uh, produced. A shorter moment arm will obviously produce less angular force than a greater moment arm. So now that's out of the way, let's uh, go back to torque for a moment. Just to let you know, the greatest amount of torque is produced at a 90 degree angle. Once you go uh, past 90 degrees, you start to increase the dislocation force because you are getting closer to basically pulling the bones apart. But on the other side of the coin, if you decrease the uh, angle below 90 degrees, you're going to start to increase the stabilizing force because you're basically pulling the bones together. So it helps stabilize the thing, you know? All right. So enough talking. Let's uh, demonstrate. So if I uh, go over here and stand under Mr. Rockwell um, and I pull the rope, my line of pull is going to be right over the axis. So Mr. Rockwell up there with his big heavy head is my resistance. Oh, Jesus, Croim. Don't tattoo your face. You might regret it later in life there, Mr. Rockwell. Lord. Anyways, I know. So uh, all of my torque is at about a zero degree angle, which means that little force that I am producing is just helping to uh, stabilize the pole under the ground. I'm basically pulling it deeper even though I'm not really getting a good pull on it, alright? And also the uh, moment arm, if you notice, is uh, almost obsolete if there is anything. So there's not going to be any uh, angular uh, pull. So let's see here. Where is she? Alright, there she is. Alright, so on the opposite side of the coin again, if my uh, personal helicopter... That's right, ladies, you heard me. If my helicopter tried to pull this uh, rope straight up at 180 degrees, you would get a dislocating force, basically pulling the uh, joint apart. And again, virtually no moment arm, so uh, there's not going to be any angular force as well. Okay, so uh, let's see here. So if my line of pull was at 90 degrees, as you know, you produce the most torque at 90 degrees. So uh, let me, uh, ah crap. Hold on a second. 
Uh, the things I do, I tell you. All right. Okay. All right. So, 90 degrees, I'm going to create an excellent uh, pull here. I'm going to give it a little yank. Also, you can see my moment arm is nice and long, which is going to give me a good angular force. So, uh, Mr. Rockwell, I'm sorry, my friend. It's been fun. Let's uh, go ahead and tilt your head to the side, my old friend. You ready? I'm ready. All right. So you see it? There it is. Uh, so uh, joint motion is basically a combination of a couple things, all right? You got the muscle strength, how much uh, torque you can generate, the um, angle in which the uh, muscle is, which is going to be your line of pull, and then the moment arm itself, which is going to give you your uh, angular rotation, if you will. All right, so uh, I hope you uh, liked the video. I have more videos coming soon for you, so uh, feel free to uh, come back and check me out. And also, uh, you could also subscribe so it lets you know when I post something up for you, okay? I always get excited when I see something like that. And uh, also check out some of my other videos. And uh, I also started a Facebook page. That's uh, the news of the day. I'll post some uh, hot, sexy, provocative uh, photos of uh, me and my cat, okay? So I'll talk to you later. Happy studying, my friends.